What's up, CL Fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. You got in there first. I just want to say we're on the road to 1 million subscribers. So if you're new around here and you've never seen our faces before, make sure you subscribe. We're so close to 1 mil. What are we, like 10k away? I have no idea. That is crazy. Please subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later. So today we're going to try and predict the gender of our baby. We still don't know the gender because we're going to do a gender reveal party. I've actually sent off my blood because of the second test that I got. Don't do this again, baby brain. So the, the second blood test that I got to test for my screening and stuff, they are going to tell me the gender of the baby because it's more accurate than So we're going to find out pretty soon. But that's a different story. Today we're going to test old wives' tales to try and figure out what we're actually having. And to see if it's true. Yeah, do, you, do you guys even believe in wives' tales? We're a bit sceptical, but yeah. I guess this will be the proof. Yeah, because some of them didn't make... We didn't write down the ones that didn't make sense to us, did we? No, we've made the ones that are a little bit more reasonable. But I think this is one of our most highly requested videos so far. Uh, yes, so and it's, it, if you're wondering what's going on with the decor, so oh, it was my birthday yesterday. It was Leona's birthday I'm yesterday. I'm 23 now. <laughs> you're oh so God. old. Oh, I got her an Apple Watch and she's really happy with it. I'm glad you like it. It is yeah. really cute. I'm not going to lie. Food. She was spoiled as usual. Yeah. Um, so let's go through some of these then. So we're going to tick off each one on what it's going to predict for us. And then at the end, we're going to see yeah, we're what gonna we're going to have. Yeah, we're going to tally them up. So it's whichever one we've got most of yes. at the end. Yes. We're not just going to go by one test. We're going to add them up. So what's first on the list? It's sweet versus sweet. Salty. Yeah, so what cravings mum has been having? So this is where I'm a little bit confused by my mum. Why? To begin with, it wasn't a very strong craving, but I was putting salt on everything. Oh, like, you were. I wanted lots of salt. Yes, which is really bad. But then I came out of that after a week, yep. and then I wanted juice, like Vimto. Ooh. I was like, I was drinking lots and lots of juice. So you've but... gone from salty to sweet. Yeah, but then I was craving, I don't know if you've seen my hunt for the brain liquor. Let me show you what Oh, you've been is. dying for a brain liquor. I have been craving a brain liquor. I can't do anything without thinking about one, so we need to go and find it. And they are not easy to get a hold of. Hello. Hello. Hiya. First stop. Sorry, this one's sweet. Nothing in this one, but it does smell like farts in here. <laughs> no. No, but it smelled like poo and she was spraying yeah, the place spraying. down. Shop number two. Don't see anything. Shop number three. Hmm. Been lied to again. No, nothing. Last shot before the traffic. It's not looking promising. Nothing. Right, let's try again, shall we? Please, 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 please. Connor's now run into this very bookie looking petrol station. This looks scary. I don't like this place. I don't like this place at all. Here's the place. Fingers crossed. <laughs> How happy are you out of 75? Six billion and one. Whoa! This is a brain liquor. I finally found them. Yes, a bit of our inside so, intel I had on a shop. This is the biggest craving I've had. Which is sweet. But some people would argue that it's sour. I don't think it tastes sour, but it's called a sour candy drink. Ah. And sour is for a boy. Yes. But I don't think it tastes sour. But, I think but, it just tastes sweet. Oh, okay. Well, what's salty and sour? That doesn't really add up, does it? I don't know. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So basically, what you, what are you? We're trying to work. You're a bit of both. So this is kind of an inconclusive test. But I would say this is sweet because I don't think this tastes sour to me. And then obviously the juice is sweet. So overall, I've had more of a... Sweet. Sweet. So you think it's a girl? Yeah this one okay let me know if you think I'm one point wrong. for girls right so sweet and salty this one goes to girl i feel like it looks like we're having a girl party because of all the the pink decorations going on yes well, even though they're just my birthday decks yes do you know what i like your sweatshirt where's that from this very nice sweatshirt is from babby.store you can still get them now and the delivery is now like very fast www.babby.store we're also coming out with new designs very soon like different bits of clothing so make sure Ready you head over sale. there oh what's that what's that <laughs> subscribe <laughs> oh these are brilliant easter eggs aren't they yeah okay on to the next one is morning sickness mm -hmm. So they say if you're extremely if you're extremely sick. morning sicknessy, then it's a girl. a girl. If you've not really experienced too much morning sickness, then it's more than likely a boy. What comes under morning sickness though? Um, I've had none. I've had no sickness at all in terms of like physically being sick. Um, I've felt really like na nauseous, but most of my sickness has been like I've been feeling like really tired and. Uh, like yeah. I can't do anything. So does that count? I don't no, know. Not really, because no? it's only if it's really bad. You haven't had it really bad. I've just been really sleepy. So, what so does that I, add to? I guess 
it's boy then, isn't it? Okay, give us if... a give us a point for boy. <laughs> well, it's currently one all. <laughs> Inconclusive so far. Okay, so next up is the ring test. You guys might have seen this before because a lot of people have done this one. We've done this before. We have I... done this before on our channel actually think... on this video. I think the last one we did, it said boy then two girls. I think it said. Yeah, I think we did get that. So let's see if it's the same. Very beautiful angle. Play, so, so if the ring goes like this, backwards and forwards straight, it's a boy. If the ring goes like this, but it'll be way less like pressure. Um, it's a girl, so we just have to be like look really Connor closely. Connor can't have any influence on it, so he has to hold it as still as possible. But this is slightly different because I actually have a belly this time, so maybe it will be a different result. Yeah, maybe. Because we have time to do it over my belly. Pregnant. Let's see what the ring do. Ain't nothing going on there. It's backwards and forwards. Yeah, but it's not really, is it? Well, it is. I'm not moving, so more so than round. Oh, it's going I... round! Oh, I can't tell, Bobby Moon. I think it's, it's going round. Bold. It's going round. Right, just hold it as still as you can and see what it carries on doing, because I'm seeing circles down here. It is going in circles now. Yeah, the circles are getting bigger. That's a circle. It started off straight, then it did circles. That's so weird. It's definitely circles. 100%. So it's currently 2-1 to go, and next test is the pregnancy glow. So, um, I mean, this is just a very simple one. If you've got pregnancy glow, you've got clear skin, you know, and you look, you know, amazing. Beautiful. You're having a boy. Um, if you're experiencing spots, acne, dullness, then apparently you're having a girl. So, the first few weeks, I feel like I did have a bit of a glow, but now, I don't know if you can even tell on this camera, but I am, I, I have to say, I have never, ever, ever in my life had spots. I've been so blessed with like really clear skin. If I ever had a spot, it would be one, and it'd be gone in a couple of days. So, I don't know if you can tell, but I am actually full of spots right now. Can you see them? I don't know. Like loads of little pimples. I've got them all around my nose, and I've got one on my cheek, and, hello? Take a moment for yourself. One sec. <clears throat> right, um, and my back is covered as well. I'm full of spots on my back. So what you're saying is girl again. We are racking up the points for girls. That's yeah, gonna well, be three they, one. They say if you're spotty, the girl is taking the beauty from the mum. So. Oh, it's draining it from you. <laughs> it's draining me. <laughs> right, do you wanna read out the next one, Babylon? So the next one is partner's weight gain. And uh, we've had COVID recently. <laughs> And technically we're still in COVID, we don't go anywhere, maybe I've been eating a bit. So if I've lost weight, I'm having a go. No! Other way around. So if I've lost weight, we're having a go. No! No! Okay. So if I've lost weight, we're having a boy. Yes! If I've gained weight, we're having a go. Yes. I don't know how this works, because why would it matter what weight I am? I mean, it depends where we're going from, but I've definitely... Since the beginning of the pregnancy. I've definitely gained. Ain't a few pounds. Have you gained a few pounds, have you? I don't think we need to step on the scale for this one. So who's that point for? That's another girl. So we've got another point for girl. It's another point for girl. I think we just call it here and say we're having a girl. Very one-sided. It is very one-sided. Listen, I can't help how I'm feeling. And anyway, that's your fault, that one. Although, funnily enough, everyone when they looked at the scam pictures was telling us that it was going to be a boy because of something, right? Yeah, but one of the midwives said, don't listen to them because everyone has a penis. Everyone has a penis when they start and out. And then it you develops. Know that? And then so... it develops to not a penis if you're a girl. Oh well, so we'll see, won't we? Yes. Okay, so next is mood swings, okay? I don't want to talk about this one because I feel like it's a very touchy subject. Oh, I don't think I've had any mood swings. No, not at all. <laughs> so, if you are stressed and having lots of mood swings and being emotional and stuff, I think yep. it's a girl. If really? I've been really chill and mellow, then it's a boy. Right, well, you know what? To be perfectly honest, I wouldn't say you've had that many crazy mood swings. No. I have recently, though. In the last couple of days, I've had two breakdowns because of, like, stupid but things. But that's it. You ha Other than that, you haven't really. You've been quite mellow and chilled out. Yeah, except for the first trimester. So if like... we were doing it on, like, an average basis, um, I, th I, I genuinely think you've been more chill than stressed. Okay. I think I agree. So I think this one can go down as a boy. Okay. Get him a tick! <laughs> or a heart, sorry. Okay, this one's kind of disgusting, but at the same time, you know, it's an old wives tale, so we've got to give it a go. I just hope we've got baking soda. I just hope you need a <laughs> wee. So basically, Liana goes and urinates in a cup. I don't think we've got a cup. I think I'm going to have to use a lid. You should use sorts. a lid because otherwise the cup's probably getting thrown away. Mm. And then you add it to baking soda. If it fizzes, it's a boy. And if it doesn't fizz... It's a girl. It's a girl. So let's go see if Liana's let's pee fizzy. Pee in, pee in a cup. <laughs> I'm a poet and I actually Wait, I don't it. think we'll show you everything though, you know. Really? No, I meant like the fizzy bit. 
Okay, so this is very strange, and I kind of feel awkward yeah, about I'm this. Yeah, I'm so one. sorry if nobody wants to see this because I've got kind of like I know it changes the color of it, but I've got a non-see like I've got see-through cup as well, so it's a bit weird, isn't it? Just put a good amount in, I guess. Don't splash it. Is it fizzing? Is that a fizz? Oh, that's I don't so know. Does disgusting. That... Yeah, but it's foaming. It's not fizzing. I guess that is a fizz, isn't it? Don't I smell need to it, drink you water. <laughs> I'd say that's a fizz. So what does it mean if it's a fizz? It's not fizzing. It is fizzing. No, that's it... what they mean by no, no, fizzing. No, 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 no. Google it because it fizzes like it fizzes up and down the thing. Either way, I'm disgusted. So I don't really know what to think of this. How much would I have to pay to drink that? Nothing. I wouldn't ever, Nothing? ever do Free? that. Nothing? Free? No. I don't know. I, th I would personally say that's a fizz. Okay, put it down as a fizz then. So we're getting another blue for boy. Okay, so we're actually looking reasonably even. It's obviously not quite even. There's four for girl, three for boy right now. Next is the Chinese gender chart, which we do on your phone. So let's see what that says. All I can smell is my pee. Disgusting. So due date is... 3rd of July. 3rd of July. My birthday is the 9th. It's a girl! Okay, so it's a girl. That's uh, so it's a girl. It should be on the screen. Very anyway. convincing. So for this next one, it's eye dilation. So you have to stare at yourself in the mirror. If your eyes dilate, that means we're having a boy. If they don't and they stay the same, that means we're having a girl. So let's go to the mirror. The mirror's not very clean, I'll tell you that. Nothing's clean. All right, you ready? All right, Can you so see me? stare at yourself. If your eyes dilate, the pupil tings, then it's a boy. I mean, is anything happening? No, it's Teresa. Oh, sorry. I don't think anything's happening. I'm gonna win. This is very awkward. <laughs> How long do I stare at myself for? You're this gonna is beat so yourself weird. in a staring contest, is that what you're saying? Listen, I think they didn't dilate. It's as simple as that. Which means it's a boy! Wow, we're flying through these. Wait, no, it means it's a girl. So we've, we're actually having a girl. The 100% wives tales that definitely are real. <laughs> Tell us that we're gonna have a girl because it's a girl, which means two, four, six, and only three for boy. What? Does mummy's instinct count as a wife's tale? Well, I can add it to the list. What's yeah. your instinct? Boy. I think we're having a boy. You think boy? Yeah. Okay, so that adds a point, which means we're still having a girl! <laughs> oh, I think my cheese and onion sandwich has arrived. Has it actually? I think so. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, is this my hungry girlfriend's cheese and onion sandwich? Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very you much. Have fine. a good day, mate. <laughs> Lovely. Well, that's it for today. <laughs> that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this pregnancy content. We're going to keep it coming. We literally can't wait to have a family channel when our little babies here. This is going to be the cutest little community ever. You guys are already giving us amazing comments and feedback. Let us know down below what you want us to do because we've still got like six months of Liana being pregnant. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you next time for some brand new stuff. Okay, we're gonna go and eat cheese and onion sandwich now. We love you millions. Love you. Bye. Road to a mill.